so in our previous video i didn't uh, configure the typography and color because there are a couple of things that you have to understand inside the astra pro it's very important so let's uh, take a look at the overview of the astra pro what we are gonna uh, have inside the astra pro so if i click on astra from the dashboard and it will take us to the astra dashboard there is two dashboard the first one is wordpress dashboard and the second one here is astra dashboard don't get confused here now inside the welcome page you can follow their video as well it's great and uh, uh, created by cassie so i hope you already know him now okay so there are quick settings quick overview that you can navigate from here there are a couple of helpful plugins you can install them they recommend those plugins as well and most important part is astra pro module so after installing the pro add-on you will have the options you can activate or deactivate the pro module from here if you if you do not activate that color typography blog pro woocommerce then you will be able to use only the free version the pro version will not be available inside your customizer so that's why please note that if you want to use astra pro then you have to navigate from astra then dashboard and make sure you activate the pro modules from here so as of now i'm going to configure the color and typography so that's why i have uh, just activated the color and typography module if you want to learn more about the color and typography you can click on documentation it will take you to their great handy documentation that will help you to learn a lot of things to learn more from uh, astra and a lot of things are available here you can uh, just explore them from here and for the typography there's also documentation so for every single pro module it comes with a beautiful documentation that you can follow them from here well uh, so there are a couple of other things like sticky header spacing those are necessary and uh, site layouts and most important woocommerce so the nav menu is basically for creating mega menu i will be creating another video tutorial so when i add nav menu i will also share with you the uh, how to use them and uh, i will enable this one but you can disable this one because it will optimize your website speed as well and uh, those code related to the blog pro related to the custom layout header page headers are not going to uh, displaying inside your source code that's that's why the astra is well optimized and uh, that's why it's most popular theme and uh, we have to install the spectra so we are going to install later on but uh, that's the overview here on the inside the welcome page now let's click on settings here so inside settings here you can see the license key that you have to activate the license here and the file generation is basically uh, you can combine the css and js uh, inside your website that's very helpful and asset regeneration is basically working like a to regenerate the assets uh, in your website so when you are uh, when you notice any unaccepted behavior like style color or any kind of components that are not working correctly and any kind of assets that are not loading correctly then this uh, section will helpful for you because uh, maybe you could give it a try to uh, regenerate the assets and it will solve your issue so uh, i'll be creating another tutorial on my uh, uh, or for my audience and will publish on my channel how to debug wordpress how to uh, configure a small issue or something a uh, small uh, query from your client even though if you're facing any issue how you can debug and resolve those issues as well now let's talk about the performance here the performance is uh, it's one of the most important part that i really like because astra has the options and the features which is load google fonts locally that's amazing so if you're using google fonts generally it uh, catch the fonts or fetch the fonts from google api but when you click these features you can load the google fonts from your local server that means from your server not local so uh, if you hosted your website any server it could be bluehost it could be uh, siteground or anywhere basically it loads from your own server not 
fetching again and again when you visit a website from Google API. So I'll share with you also. And here is the version control. You can change or you can roll back to the previous Astra Pro version. You can roll back to the Astra theme previous version. In case if you're facing any issue with the latest version, you can always go back to the previous version. And the beta mode is, uh, you can simply enable beta mode if you want to test Astra for certain parts. Uh, if uh, the Astra will release any beta version, you can use them, you can test them inside your website. And the most important part, which is white label. So you can white label your products. You can uh, white label the Astra theme, Astra Pro add-on. You can add your own agency name, URL, and license link, whatever you want. You can change them from here. You can add your own branding description and all of the things that you can change here. So. There will be another part for this uh, white label and also I'll be listed in this playlist. So that's all and that's the overview from Astra. And there is another tab which is called Stata Templates. That's very useful for those people who already know how WordPress work, who already knows uh, how to use WordPress, how to use um, block editor. This is very helpful for them. But if you my goal is to help you to learn if you want to learn if you want to scale up yourself then you have to learn first after that you can go with any shortcut path like using a starter template using any kind of pre-built template that's good to go but after learning or watching the tutorial i will also show you how you can use starter template to speed up the project process so that's all uh, for Astra Pro overview and now in the next part uh, without further any delay so I have said a couple of times that I'm going to create a header and other settings from here so there are lots of things that I think you should understand exactly and, and that's why I explain each and every part here so if you have any other questions please feel free to ask on my video uh, below the comment section you will have opportunity you can ask me and let's continue